Hey guys, so I wanted to do assignment number three for the virtual homeschool co-op, which in my last video that I, I posted, I kept saying homeschool virtual co-op, but I realized it's virtual homeschool co-op. So I'm sorry about that. And then this, the, this, but I'm doing the assignment number three, which is how do you buy your curriculum box or not box? And it's all part of the virtual homeschool co-op, which I will post more information in the description box below. So let's get to it. It says, do you use a box curriculum? I do not personally. Um, I'm, not any, I'm not against anybody that buys box curriculum, and I'm not against anybody that doesn't buy box curriculum. There's, <clears throat> there's two reasons why we don't. The first reason is Caden is dyspraxic. So I have to use a lot of graphic hands-on base things. So it can't be a lot of reading because, as I said, dyspraxia affects fine motor skills and gross motor skills. It affects everything from his, the way that he learns, thought processes, the way that he uses hands, his mouth, he talks, the way that he runs, um, skips, which he don't skip, hops is another story. Um, <clears throat> so it affects a lot of his body. And when he was in public school, which he went to public school until the, the very beginning of second grade. Even though he was in second grade, he still wasn't reading. And the, the teachers and stuff, instead of holding him back and helping him, they just kept passing him. And that's how he got to the second grade. <clears throat> so right now he is in third grade. He's on a first grade reading level and a first grade math. Um, and that was because of A, because he has a hard time learning, B, they didn't take enough time while he was in public school to, to, I guess, help him along, help him teach him, things like that. So, <clears throat> when we do curriculum, and I buy curriculum here, I buy most of it used, and, um, I kind of piece it together. I, I, I keep in mind how Caden learns. Um, see, like back here, we use our PS3 um, for, um, I guess, for Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, Amazon, things that he's learning as he's watching. Um, same as his his two textbooks, three textbooks that he's got. It has a lot of pictures and activities where he can learn as he's going. Um, that's why we do a lot of puzzles and coloring. Um, he does games on the computer or on the iPad, and that way it catches his attention and he can pay attention for a lot longer than just reading to him and things like that. <clears throat> and the second reason why we, the reason why we buy, we piece together is because we're cheap. There's no way around it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I am a very frugal, cheap person, so it's hard for me to drop a lot of money on just his curriculum when I can find stuff that I think is just as good pieced together as it would be boxed. So, and for me to to be able to afford a homeschool, we, I have to find it as cheap as possible. I think um, in February I bought two, two books off of Amazon for under $5 a piece, which I had to pay $3 in shipping for each one. Because they wasn't part of the prime. It was sold by other people. But I bought two textbooks. So that, well, I'm going to say $15. Maybe, I'm just going to say $20. $20 for two textbooks. And then I bought his handwriting book. Um, a puzzle. Well, two puzzles. And I think that's it. And the rest of the stuff. No. And I bought a United States coloring book. And some flashcards. For the states and capitals. Oh, and again, and I paid all the other for all of it. I think a hundred and thirteen dollars. That was for everything. Plus, but the other stuff that I got, like the I had a, a one his social studies book and the math book, the the paper. Which what I bought in February will probably carry us over until fourth grade, maybe towards the middle of fourth grade. So I won't have to worry about buying it until probably January next year to kind of start going up. Um, so 
we we have to live on one income, or we don't have to, but we choose to live on one income. So I try to make it as cheap as possible so that way I know he's even, even though it might be pieced together and cheap, I know he's still getting a good ed education because of the resources that I have, which are the textbooks and the games and the, the Netflix and the books and the, I keep pointing over there like you're going to see <laughs> my book collection over there. So, um, <clears throat> Uh, so that, but that's, that's one of the two reasons why, um, it says, what do you like with it? I guess getting, I guess the reason why I like piecing that is because one, Caden does learn better with, you know, with different things. Two is, it's easier, I guess, easier for me to teach with it because I've had some of the, like some of these textbooks when I was in school or they're similar to what I had in school and what I learned so it's kind of easier to teach him so and what do you use let's see I got a hold on. Okay, I'm just going to show you right quick. Actually, I will post a link in here. I don't know if it's right here or right here. I'll post the link with um, what I bought in February with his curriculum. So I'll just say I use this for his geography, which it's got a lot of activities in it. Um, these, these two books right here are both... McGraw Hill. It's his science textbook and his English arts. Um, okay, I'm back. Kate needed some loving. Alright, and then actually, I don't know who this is by. Oh, Macmillan. This is his social studies textbook. And then I use which I think I'm not going to use this very much longer. He's mathematics. It's an older workbook. I think we're going to finish out the year with this. And then I got copies of, or not copies, but I got two, I think it's Singapore math, four. Um, so I got 4A and 4B over there, which that'll probably be next year. We're going to finish it out with the he's mathematics. Then for... Handwriting, he uses this. And then, this is what I use for his reading comprehension. And the rest I use, well, hold on, I got this. And this is the hell. It's not, not much. I think that's it that I bought online. I keep looking on our table to see if I find it. But um, we also use, let's see. Things like this. We're reading this part. I'm not going to do it, frankly. But I use that. I also use um, Quantic Academy for math practice. I use, um, what else? I use Teacher Pay Teachers to download worksheets to go along with this stuff down here because it doesn't, I didn't get the teacher edition or anything, so I use that. Um, what else do I use? Well, I use YouTube, um, like Bill Nye the Science Guy videos. I don't remember what else, but that's, that's the main part is uh, McGraw Hill and Macmillan is what I use mainly for ours. So, um, but that's what I use. I will post um, the link about the curriculum that I use or that I bought so you can see more detail about each of the pieces. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget that I have all the information below about the virtual homeschool co-op in the description box. Subscribe and I will see you later. Bye.